Hi YouTube, uh, this is your girl S Sandra aka Simply Love and I'm here to do your mid-month reading from the 15th until the 30th of November. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful holiday, okay, and um, gobble gobble on the turkey. <laughs> well, I'm here to read for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for the sign of Gemini, the twins, all right? And um, what I have uh, first is a bonus. You know, I'm going to be um, doing a spread of if you're stuck. If you're feeling stuck, we're going to, you know, ask Spirit to deliver some messages. I'm going to do just a quick spread, like a four-card spread on, um, you know, if you're stuck. That's just, that's the bonus, okay? And then I'm going to get into your love reading, okay? Because I know y'all want to hear that. Before we begin, I've been having questions and stuff like that. Uh, a lot and I'm going to you know decide to you know go ahead and answer it right at the beginning if you don't want to hear this part of it you know because this is just this is for you know the ladies it's for the men too as well um you know you can just go ahead and fast forward um and I'll give you the time you can time stamp it but it's just going to be real quick I want to tell you what I've been using for my teeth um a lot of times I've been using like baking soda and water and lemon not water but just baking soda and lemon and i Put it in a little, you know, put it in a little container and make it to like it's a paste and then put it on my toothbrush and brush my teeth with that because that, because, you know, they got all these chemicals and all this stuff that you're getting here. You have to really be careful that fluoride is dangerous, even though, you know, it don't take a effect right away. It's a, um, it's a, a long term type of effect, you know, why you think people are buying water, no telling what's even in the water, you can't hardly trust anything anymore unless it's natural and organic. And this is the neem, I don't know if I'm showing that right, I'm not sure, <laughs> but it's neem, N as in Nancy, E E M as in Mary, neem, toothpaste, okay, it's essential, it's organic. You can go to the organic stores or wherever they have uh, herbs and or natural things. Um, this contains black seed, okay, baking soda. As I said, that you can use that if you can't afford these. Are a little expensive, but it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? Because it don't have any of the uh, or um, chemicals. It's not chemical based. We have to become more aware so we can take care of ourselves without depending on man's things. Because they, you know, they put stuff in things in order for you to get sick so they can, you know, build their billion dollar uh, medicine and hospitals, keep people in hospi hospitals, keep people in some type of care uh, all the time. It's all just a money thing and we have to realize that. So, you know, we can't be, we can't be succumbing to it. We have to do something about it. And that's like seek organic stuff, seek things that are going to be better for our health. And our wealth. I ain't saying we're going. Nobody's going to live forever, ever. But you do want to go. You know, peace. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. But anyway, you has black seed, baking soda, neem extract, mint oil, and clove, and it tastes really, really, really good. Okay, use that. Find that if you can at your health food stores or or your uh, organic stores. Get you some organic incense if you like to meditate and use incense. Make sure they're the right kind. They're going to, you know, they'll say it on a label. Okay, because they have incense that's, you know, tainted too. And I suggest, you know, uh, for you ladies and gentlemen, um, with the black seed tea or the black seed oil. You can, If you get the oil, which I have oil too, you can take it like a little tablespoon uh, or a tablespoon or a teaspoon of that oil. It's going to taste like that castor oil stuff. It ain't got the greatest taste, but it's really, really good for your system. I want you all to look that up and see the benefits of black seed. And now you can get that black seed herbal tea. It doesn't taste that great either. You can add a little bit of sugar. but you. And if you guys are out there wanting to lose weight, I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to work for you. You have this black seed oil. I mean, it's black seed tea. All right. Uh, you make yourself a cup of tea with it, and then you put um, lemons, fresh lemons in there, organic, or organic lemon juice, and you get some baking soda, pure baking soda. You put it like a little teaspoon of baking soda in your tea after it's hot and everything. Leave the tea bag in there because it's still absorbing. Um, put uh, put your little drop of lemon juice or the you know lemons 
in there along with a teaspoon of baking soda and like you know stir it up stir it up real good drink that don't go nowhere if you do it okay i'm telling you right now do not leave the house or be away from where there's a bathroom i'm telling you right now if you do that every day you're going to just you know you're going to slowly see yourself losing weight just get on that scale every day because it is going and it helps release the toxins out of your body as well because of the foods that we eat you don't want that stuff sitting around and in, in your body you got to let that stuff go so if, if you have a, a problem going to the especially for you have a problem going to the bathroom because that's how you get colon cancer and things like that it's like that stuff gets stuck up in there you got some things up in there you don't really believe coming from some of these foods you just have to be careful but i'm telling you right now and i you know hey consult with your physician before you want to do this or whatever i'm not no doctor or nothing like that i'm just saying what's been working for me uh, as far as a dietary or supplement and stuff like that is that all right and also for my face people ask me well why you think you not be what am i 58 i'll be 59 in january and they're like i, I said it some uh, on my birthday or something like that and ever since then i've been getting loads of email what do you do for skincare your skin looks so good and all this and that thank you very much i appreciate that um so um what i've been doing for a while um, I forgot where I saw this at. It was I read about it or or something over the internet or a book or something. I seen this where somebody takes uh, dirt from the ground. You get a bunch of dirt, okay? You get a pan or whatever and fill it up, seal it up somewhere in your home, and every day you just take a little bit out, put it in some water, and make it like pasty, just like you would the uh, baking soda. Make it pasty. Put it all over your face. You know, cover your face with it. It's like a mask and it gets real hard. It tightens your skin up. You can feel it tightening your skin up. Keep it on there till you feel like it's all the way dry. Then, you know, wash it off. Wash your face off real good. And then you take some baking soda and you baking soda your face. Baking soda is good for just about every doggone thing. I'm telling you, baking soda is the miracle thing. It's good for freshness. You can put it on your bed before you put your sheets on. You could, you know, Baking soda is just good for everything, okay? Put it down there with Missy down there, you know, just a little bit of baking soda. Where if you have like, um, you can put it under your arms instead of deodorant, baking soda. Really, okay? Um, okay, and then I put the baking soda on, scrub, it's like a scrub. And you know, when I scrub my face with it, wash it off, after I wash it off and dry, I use, you can go to the store, herbal stores and stuff like that and get the rose water spray. It's called rose water spray right here. And you can, you know, look it up and see what it contains and all that. So I don't get too into it and just put it all over my face and let it dry on and set. And then that's it. That's my thing. Okay. Thank you all who inquired and I hope that helped. Now let's get into the reading. So it's 820. <laughs> 828 so if you want to skip by that you go to 828 somebody please put that in that timestamp in the um below if you want to just fast forward this part maybe i should have left it at the end huh okay sun moon rising venus of uh this is going to be a bonus reading right here i'm stuck who's who's out there stuck who wants to know it? you know what are you stuck um why are you stuck What's your current situation? Okay. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This could be male or female. What's your current situation? In the I'm stuck spread. Uh, this is going to be a four card spread. Okay. Four different decks. <laughs> okay. What's your current situation in the I'm stuck spread? I'm feeling stuck. What's the current situation you're stuck at? Well, the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles has something to do with um, finances, work. Maybe some of you are stuck in your work. Maybe your situation, maybe you're worried about, you know, prospering. Maybe some of you are trying to get your own business or something or trying to, you know, be stable and content with this Ten of Coins. 
Some of you are trying to figure out how am I going to get here? What is it going to take for me to get here? Uh, that's the current situation right now for a lot of you. You may be stuck in some type of situation when it comes to work. Some of you may have uh, slacked off on your work. Um, and you you know, some of you are just like I said, working really, really hard, just focusing on that's your situation. You may be stuck on a job or worried about a job situation or worried about your finances. Some of you may be like a little high maintenance here, whether you're male or female, you could be like into this materialistic type thing. That's what your current situation is as far as being stuck. Okay. Okay, why are you stuck in that type of situation? Why? Two came out and I'm going to read it. It's because, you know, you're over ambitious probably. There's a, some ambitious. I'm ambitious and do not procrastinate or waste time being negative. Okay, that's really good. If you're ambitious, that's why you're stuck. You're really overly ambitious. See there? That all goes together. Some of you are really, it could be material, it could be anything that has to do with finances and, you know, trying to rush. You may be rushing. That's why you're stuck. You may be trying to go too fast at being in this type of status. There's nothing wrong with that type of status at all, but, you know, take your time. Nothing wrong with being ambitious either. All right? Nothing. What's the key to get you unstuck? Okay? So you can, like... What's the key to get you unstuck? There we go. The key to get you unstuck is help. Ask others for help. That's what you do. If you're in a situation where you're trying to grow or think about a job situation, it's male or female. Um, this seems like it's a situation where it's got you hanging or you, you know, kind of worried about in your head. That's what I'm talking about. What you, what you're stuck in, what your current situation is. This ten of coins. You're trying to, you're trying to get a lot all at one time. You want to be this, live this high life. For some of you, for some of you, may be worried about a job or making a decision about a job. And for some of you, um. It may be a, a home situation or a family situation. Somebody may be worried also about inheritance. Like, where is money going to be going? Like, where is the, the deeds? Where is the contracts? Where is where is this money going to go? Some of you may already be in, in, a, in a, a family situation where there's money, but nobody knows where the money is going to be going. So that may be a situation for some of you, and it needs to be. And somebody could be a little ambitious. But all you have to do is just ask for help. That may you may some of you may need an attorney if it is if it's that situation, okay, to help figure out what where these funds are going to go to so it could be a generational thing. Somebody wants to, or, or somebody wants to live the high life. Somebody wants to be comfortable in their life, and the over ambition is what's uh, is why you're stuck because you're overly ambitious. Like there's nothing wrong with being ambitious at all, but. You can't, you know, there's no, always, there's no one man show. There's always ha somebody else that can help, whether it's your angel guides when you pray to your uh, ancestors and seek help, um, seek help through a medium or spiritualist or a psychic, a tarot reader, somebody, you know, to help you and get you in your, in the direction that you're in. Now, what's the possible, what's the possible outcome if you ask What's the possible outcome if you ask? Sorry, y'all. I got a limited space here. I got to move this stuff. Just one second. If you like the music in the background, it and that is um, spiritual calling spirit on uh, for your herbals, your herbs and spices. Okay, they lead you and direct you to what you need for as far as you're concerned for your health. Okay, now what's the possible outcome for some that's going through this I'm stuck spread in a situation that they may be stuck in? What's the possible 
outcome advice. Okay, the possible act, outcome is, advice is the mermaid of immersion. Immersion. I feel like this is some type of water energy, like emotions. Complete commit commitment. That's the outcome. Complete commitment. Okay. I know um, this could be, like I said, some of you are stuck in your head and it's stuck in a situation which could be a marriage or a relationship and it has to do with money. Maybe you're concerned about money. Okay. Maybe some of you have it going on and you're just like over, you're like, there's a, somebody around you or something, um, which is why you're stuck is overly ambitious. They could be a little pushy, trying to push it, or you could be pushing, try, being a little, you know, pushing it too much yourself. Okay. But, um, the key to getting you unstuck is help other, ask others for help. And the possible outcome for some of you is to, as I said here. Uh, just complete commitment keep it moving keep moving forward do what you're going to do but do it at a steady pace that's what I'm picking up for the sign of um, Gemini Gemini I hope that helped so let's get on with the reading okay sorry y'all for my babbling on but you know how I am I got to talk honey let's start out with my deck simply loves tarot Okay, you can purchase that on my website, okay, if you like perhaps these cards. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for the sign of Gemini. What's going on in their life? Present, past, future, doesn't matter. However the shoe fits, wear it. That's how I'm reading, you know. I don't, I don't, I'm not into spreads too much and all that. Um, it's just, I don't know, to me, for me, I'm not in in to the spreads. I just like deliver the messages. I figure messages are messages. And I feel like you get more out of it uh, without pulling off, getting people confused with like almost like you're giving them a personal private reading. You can't do that. This is not what this is for because there's millions of people out there. Okay, Gemini, let's see what's going on. Now, you can't do that. You have to, you know, put put down and let people figure out what it is and get their own personal private reading. You can't find that online because these messages are general. And, it, you know, don't get stuck into, you know, uh, being a tarot um, junkie. That stuff will get you in terrible, terrible trouble. Running around from one to the other. You have to Spirit's trying to tell you, you need to find out your own information for your own self because you go, all you're going to do is confuse yourself because you go from one tarot to the other. You think each and every one of them is talking about you. Okay, let's see. Like I said, this could be the current energy, past energy, or now energy, or what's coming up energy. Take it how it comes because like I said, that's how you have to do it when you're talking to worldwide you're not doing this is general and, and this may not even resonate check out your other signs and remember the energies can go vice versa remember as i say in all my videos i'm just a messenger okay it's nothing personal you know you see me shuffling these cards spirit don't lie okay and i'm gonna do exactly what spirit wants me to do and say and if uh you can't handle that is you know other people that you can listen to click off you ain't gotta make no derogatory comments you ain't got to do none of that because all i'm going to do is just block it you know some of the stuff you know people don't want to hear you don't even need to be here period if you don't want the truth you don't need to be watching tarot unless you're getting somebody that buttercups everything you know just that for you to watch them i don't do that kind of shit okay it's just point blank somebody's in defense mode somebody's um somebody's blocking somebody here could be an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo that you may be dealing with um what did I say this was I'm sorry <laughs> the nine of wands okay see how she's standing there and she's got that line that's like her spirit guides okay helping her Helping her and all those wands behind her is what she has been through or he. It just depends on who we're talking about. 
you know, that talks about the uh, delays as well. Somebody could be on a delay regarding someone or somebody and they're just like, you know, defending themselves or protecting their self. Um, it's part of the, in, the wounded soldier too, because maybe somebody been hurt. Maybe there was some bad words said between two people. That this is a sign of a, your, that's your energy, Gemini. Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, okay? They could come across a little harsh because they're a little mature. They're pages. Uh, some type of communication that's being blocked, okay? And it could be somebody looking at somebody's social media, stalking. They could be driving by your house or you doing this to somebody. Somebody being nosy. Um, it could be any of those things that, you know, like I said, I'm just going to give different scenarios. Like I said, it could be happening. It could have happened to some of you already. Some of you, it could be happening now. Some, it may take place in the future. Okay. So now we got the Knight of Cups. This person is in love. Okay. Because this Knight of Cups, The Knight of Cups always wear their heart on their sleeve, okay? You can see how much they're in love. You can be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Somebody's overly and madly in love here. But they're being blocked off or you're being blocked off by this person, okay? It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Did I say that already? <laughs> okay. Got the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So there is a fortunate situation getting ready to happen, okay? You, it could be for some of you dealing with two people. One, you might be blocking off and letting them go. And then there's another love offer coming in here that you might, you might start a new beginning with for some of you. Hit the comment section. All right. Now you got the two of wands where, you know, you're making plans and you're making that decision. You know, you got this new opportunity coming with the wheel of fortune, a fortunate, happy situation turning your way. And uh, now you're making plans with the two of wands. OK, that's somebody planning. Which way should I go? Um, what options should I take here? Somebody's got options. <laughs> two of them. Dealing with two people trying to figure out which way to go. Spirit here is telling me one of them is like overly real pushy. All right. They got a lot of mouth. They're not happy about this situation. You blocking them off and cutting them off with communication. And then there's somebody else here, the King of Cups. Or it could be the same person. They're just madly in love with you for some of you. Or you got somebody that's new coming in that's offering their love and their true. It's a fortunate situation. Um, it's going to bring you out of a karmic situation. You're going to come full circle. It's going to end something for new beginnings that if you take this offer for some of you. And it's, that's the decision that you have to make. And somebody's the magician here, okay? Somebody's playing a magician. They got all the tools necessary to create whatever you want to create. That's what they're trying to tell you, all right? With the two of wands. You can create this. You can manifest this. Magician is a manifester, depending on the surrounding cards. And that's what I'm seeing going on here, especially with this Wheel of Fortune, which is a major arcana card. And so is this uh, magician. The magician and the uh, Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you're going to get some talk to somebody some something's coming in really really fast after this manifestation after making up your mind of what you want it could be a letter with this eight of wands it could be dealing with a fire sign aries sagittarius or leo um you could be getting a phone call could be getting a letter i think that came up in y'all first no I, this is my first one and it could, it's all about love, okay? With the king or queen of cups, they deliver, they talk about love, okay? They're mature. Kings and queens are mature. Queens are very creative. Kings are very, um, uh, they're in leadership, okay? Both are in leadership. They're mature. They're seasoned, okay? Not saying, you know, just depends on, you know, the surrounding cards. But in this situation, it looks like this person is on the up and up with wanting love you're going to hear about love a love offer coming in with this male or female because it's general so we have to say male or female okay wow the king and queen so 
whether it's two women, two men, uh, or male and female, this looks like a power couple right here. There's going to be a relationship getting started here with the king and queen, uh, the king of swords and the queen of uh, cups. So somebody's offering, they, they, they coming in with communication very, very fast, whether it's going to be travel, whether it's going to be internet, whether it's going to be a letter, text phone call, whatever communication it has to has to bring. Somebody coming by your house or something like that. Because this is manifestation here. Alright? There's something good coming along here, um, Gemini. And I feel like this is going to be a power couple or some type of soulmate connection with the, with the King of Swords who is very intelligent, very sharp. Okay? He's very sharp. He's on his game. He, he's, he's very very bright when it comes to his thinking he's very sharp um they could be a businessman as well it could be a businessman and this could be a businesswoman okay so yeah look here ten of coins you two this is a power couple going on here somebody's got the somebody got to get out the way though so my got it. Look, this is the situation. This is a power couple here. Two people meeting probably for the first time after talking a while, maybe communication. Somebody did block somebody else off of, for communication because I feel like they're pushy. But there's somebody coming in here with true love, with real love. You know, they somebody fell in love with someone else and they they you know, they got the wheel of fortune next to it like they feel for this is a good fortune for you or someone else and there's going to be a decision that has to be made. There's going to be plans. There's plans being made either you're planning it or this other person's planning it and actually going to bring it to fruition. It's going to come they're going to make it happen. Because here's the communication card right here. Either they're coming to see you, you're going to see them. Some type of communication. And then y'all going to hook up. Okay. Y'all going to hook up together. With Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And then, you know, hey, y'all going to collaborate with the Ten of Coins. I feel like y'all going to have... See, we talked about this came up as your current um, situation. You want this... Uh, you want to... You want to be stable and happy. You want to make money. You want to be comfortable. You want to live the good life, okay? And But there's somebody that got to go. That all came out with your I'm stuck spread. So, you know, for some of you who just resonate with, this is some of you's possibility if you follow what spirit is saying. You, don't, you ain't got to follow shit, okay? You know, you don't have to. This is just general, all right? You, you, you don't have to do nothing you don't want to do. But... Spirit speaking to somebody out there that this is your outcome, is what you want that you're stuck in. You want this, you can have it, all right? But follow the follow the advice of spirit and you'll be getting it. You know, your future is what you make it. Terror is not future. It, it, it's advice for you to create your own future, what you what you feel like you need and want. That's, that's best for you. What they see that is best for you, but you got to let go of that ego. You got to... You got to let go and, and let God, spirit is, God is, or the most high is the one that um created the angels, okay? The ones that pass on, your ancestors, and you know, he or she or whatever it is allows them to see all and communicate through people like myself and others as well. And everybody has a sense of psychic ability. That's what your emotions are all about. Some people is, is very heightened, you know, it's like they were born with it. They already know things when they were born. And they become mediums and, you know, help people around the world. And, you know, they starting to use psychics and tarots and stuff like that in, in investigations. All right. So now you got the Nine of Pentacles, wishes coming true. Look how bright and yellow that card is. This is like, you know, like I said, a cute, this is the pentacles. You can be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is accumulation of money, of, of wealth. There's something got to do with wealth here with some of y'all. Please hit the comment section with the chariot. I feel like you're going to take off. You're going to, you know, and this, 
in this card, see how yellow that card, when you see a lot of yellow, that's positive, that's light, that's that's following spirit, that's letting go and, and becoming free to do and be what you need to be that's going to make your happy life you. So you're leaving a situation behind, you're not even turning back. Chariot's a wonderful card to have of moving on. And you also have the world. So there's going to be new beginnings, okay? Brand new beginnings. Things are coming full circle, all right? Full circle. So come out of your head. Stop being stuck. Or somebody else is going to be stuck. It could be a Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. They're going to, you gonna, you know, they're going to be left feeling stuck and trapped. They might look, it might look good on the outside, but on the inside, that's how they feeling. Or that could be how you're feeling. Like you might be, this could be you or the other person or somebody you've been dealing with. And, you know, you're quite bored with the situation. You're quite bored of putting your time and energy into someone who just don't care. See how that man looks sitting there? He's getting served up. I wouldn't be looking like that. I'd be going like this. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> if it were me, I wouldn't be looking like that. There's no reason to. I'd be like, oh, what? What? Really? I wouldn't even ask for nothing because you don't look like he asking for nothing. They just bringing it. And I'm going to tell y'all, look at this card. You see this woman. It's the same woman. They're just illustrating them three times because they're doing so damn much for this person. But they're not appreciating it. So somebody's, look, somebody trying to make something look good on the outside, but inside they're all torn apart. It may be you, uh, Gemini, putting up an air like you, you know, you with somebody like you like it's cool but it may not be cool to you you might be bored with the situation or they might be bored with you with the four of cups you know holding back on their emotions there's no feelings there there's nothing because look how he's looking and he's getting served up or she just depends could be dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio this is your energy so i'm saying you know and on the outside you're trying to make things look good but on the inside you know things are just shitty as hell you feeling trapped with this person bored as hell and you can't sleep we ain't gonna get no sleep Ooh, look at janet listen to that janet jackson no sleep with J featuring j cole that's a badass jam out of all the songs, I love that song. It's the beat to it. It's because I can't hardly understand what she. You gotta look up the lyrics to understand what the hell she talk about. But it's a beautiful song. So you know, check that out on YouTube. I know I can know I hear her saying we ain't gonna get no sleep. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, Gemini, back to you. We got the Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away from a situation, okay? That may be you because you're tired of being, you know, can't sleep, worrying, having anxieties, um, sleep deprivation because somebody's putting on an air about a situation. But, you know, I feel like the world is here, the chariot is here, and, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is here. This could be somebody's recent past. Excuse me. I got to listen to my ancestors. Shoot, they really helped me out. And this could be somebody that's happening to right now. It just hasn't, you know, really fulfilled itself yet because this is the advice of what spirit is saying. See those two couples in the background? Somebody might got caught cheating and they're giving up. They're giving up. They're walking away in this relationship. And it's very emotional. Somebody's very hurt and distraught over that. Look at these two cards together. And matter of fact, I'm going to put this one in there too. Look. And this one. All messed up inside the head. The source talks about the way you think. Somebody's all screwed up inside. But look how beautiful they look on the outside. Put Somebody's putting on some kind of air regarding a relationship. And you're doing everything for this person. Oh my God. Or they could be doing this for you. And it's like, you're like, whatever. Whatever, gal or dude. I'm, I got somebody else I'm thinking about, you know, being with. And yeah, it's going to keep you up at night and worry. Because you may have some kind of 
intuition okay so you got the three of wands you're just moving on or somebody's moving on it could be a ver uh, airy sagittarius or leo they're just like they got those look they got they're going to choose their direction they see a future they're putting away somebody's putting away maybe a third party situation and they're going to make a choice of one or the other and it takes temperance for you you have to temper yourself you know what i'm saying with judge with uh, temperance <laughs> balance you have to do a balancing act and the seven of wands i'm sorry the seven of cups could be dealing with a cancer or pisces scorpio a sagittarius aries sagittarius or leo again i feel like a lot of you may be dealing with fire signs sun moon rising or venus this is talking about options somebody has options and choices somebody's been around understand somebody's been around that's for just this is just another scenario for some of you out there okay i don't feel like it has nothing to do with the same the one that we just read it's just another thing so some of you may need to find out where you're headed at because you know next comes the tower a shake up something abruptly happening um a, a fallout a letting go of a divorce because somebody you could be dealing with a virgo has been really thinking this and mauling this over and you know they're afraid that you know they're going to be left in the cold or somebody's going to be left out in the cold because i feel like they want to be happy somebody wants to be happy probably with someone else okay with the nine of cups they want their wishes fulfilled somebody's going to get their wishes fulfilled here um you gemini for some of you or or someone else around you what else let me give you some advice we're at 36 great really good timing i gotta turn this heater off when i get the talk to you guys okay What's the advice, Spirit? What other advice can you give for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Remember, this could be couples. You know what I'm saying? Singles. Somebody who is going to happen to. It hasn't happened yet. Some of y'all already happened and you, you're on your way. Uh, some of you are in doubt. You, you know, that's why I say get your personal private reading because, like I said, we're reading for the whole wide world. Find out what's going on with you. Get it straightened out. <clears throat> I feel like you could hear the Queen of Raphael. <clears throat> King or Queen. Because <clears throat> I'm reading for what? Worldwide. This thing. Okay. So, um, kind, understanding, caring, giving, and psychic. So, some of you may have some psychic abilities and you're using that to give to other people. You're giving some type of consultations. You're understanding. Very kind. Very list. Somebody listens. Some of you may want to seek psychic advice. I just just said that. Okay, some of you may need somebody that is a, a, that could give you some type of psychic or tarot, something like that, it, it, intuitive, whatever it may be. Because see that angel on top, uh, looking down, like you know, we we're here for you, and we're trying to tell you. Or there's somebody coming to you in your in, in your life like this. Very look how stable they are. Look how they're sitting on their throne. Okay. And, and they're in water. So this is an emotional. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio for some of you. Very loving. And the psychic and a lot of um, uh, water signs are intuitive. So they could be have intuitive abilities as well. That's why they have psychic. Okay? So follow your heart, Gemini. A love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. Wow. This just ties up the whole reading. Read that yourself. Look at that. That is so beautiful. Okay, so if y'all need any further information, please hit me up. All my information is listed below in the description. Thank each and every one of you, all my new subscribers. I see my channel growing every day. I do see each and every one of you. And I do give you a heart to let you know that I'm, I'm reading your comments. Okay, not just putting a heart there. Some of you I reply to. Um, you know, uh, depending on what you have to say <laughs> and, um, a lot of you, I thank, and I really let you know that, you know, I, I truly, truly love you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful November and, uh, and be safe. Um, 
and have fun, okay? Be safe, have fun, and love you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hope you enjoyed your reading.